All right, so I wanted to talk about my experience treating uh, OCD with uh, mushrooms. It was probably around uh, when I was 16. I um, I had a bit of a, a, a flare-up. Like, I had, uh, I was diagnosed with, like, severe OCD at, at 12, and, like, I was taken out of school because um, I couldn't function anymore. I was just kind of, like, catatonic and just didn't, didn't uh, sort of respond to school, so I had to get out and you know, they put me in therapy, but uh, or like cognitive behavioral therapy. But they said I was uh, treatment resistant, and they put me on Paxil, and uh, I didn't really get much uh, benefit from it. But um, the severe OCD that I had was um, the intrusive thoughts type, and uh, it was it, it caused a lot of anxiety. Um, depression and and like panic attacks a lot of the time and usually it was like uh based on like one specific worry but like it could it, it sometimes it would just jump like throughout the whole day to like different different worries and and it would just be an uncontrollable but um when i started experimenting with uh psilocybin uh i think i i um I'm not sure if I figured out that that it that it helped with OCD or if I um, if I read about it, but uh, either way, um, when I started taking uh, larger doses in the silent darkness, I uh, noticed that it had a, a very insane potential to just uh, dissolve um, any sort of intrusive thought or or worry that sort of gets in into your mind because uh how it would work with me is that like i would get like some worry like uh that that you know um i would i would be uh it it would go against my 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 fundamentals as a as a you know my my uh my principles or who i am and and it would make me un uncomfortable so like it would it would all of a sudden say like oh what if what if I just randomly like hurt someone and and then I would want to you know hide like any sort of weapons in the house that 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 so that I wouldn't I wouldn't get that compulsion to do that and then you know the more you feed into the the um, the the worries the more that it sort of latches on to you because uh, I I read a while ago I I'm, I'll, I'll try to find the uh, the study but it says that uh, when you um, when you uh, perform the compulsions that that OCD does so that like uh, let, let's say the the one that um, uh, or, or a uh, a compulsion to, to sort of prove the 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 worries wrong what happens is that it reinforces it it actually creates um, these uh, uh, these protein connections, that, like it, it, it strengthens the 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 connection that you make with proteins, so that like each time you perform a compulsion, it, it gets it gets more solidified into your mind, and then it becomes more habitual and more habitual and more habitual, and the um, the 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 theory on why uh, psilocybin works is. Um, I'll actually show you in, in, in a video here, one sec. Alright, so this is from uh, David Suzuki's uh, The Nature of Things. The, he had a, uh, an ayahuasca episode on uh, treating uh, like heroin, cocaine addicts with um, ayahuasca and, and, and it, it sort of documented this, uh, this doctor that, that was, uh, I think he was, he was starting a clinic I, I can't really remember or or in the middle of doing that but um, uh, he basically goes over why um, ayahuasca uh, you know how does it work in the brain and then uh, they they show you know how how it it, uh, uh, it breaks down um, habits um, uh, of addiction but the, the those same habits of addiction are are, are the same sort of uh, uh, habits that that OCD people have when when they start feeding their compulsions so um, both of them create some uh, connections in the brain that solidify each time that you perform the compulsion so I'll just sort of show you the video This is where 
where we perceive, reason, and make decisions. Ayahuasca also activates regions like the amygdala, which acts as a storehouse for early emotional memories, specifically the most traumatic or significant ones, like the loss of a parent. Finally, ayahuasca activates the insula, which is believed to create a bridge between our emotional impulses and our decision-making capacity. So is that where awareness would be mediated? Neurology is the Damasio. Yes. It says the area where feeling states are generated is the, is the insula. According to many neuroscientists, our decision-making process has a powerful emotional component. When any stimulus enters the brain, the brain tries to understand it based on previous experiences. In early life, powerful or traumatic events create an imprint on the brain, a pattern. This pattern is like a shortcut, activated every time we face a similar situation. For example, if we were once attacked by a dog, our brain might harbor a set of these pathways that associate that dog with all dogs, making us fear them in general. We might even react adversely to a distant bark. Repeated events cause these neural patterns to reinforce their connection, binding them with protein and building them up like scar tissue. If this is how these traumas are rooted in our brains, how does ayahuasca affect those ingrained patterns? Ayahuasca hyperactivates the entire brain region where we store and process emotional memory, often uncovering long forgotten memories. This hyperactivation enables the conscious part of the new brain to temporarily override previously entrenched patterns allowing new connections to be made. Dogs, for example, may no longer be feared as these new connections are created and memories re-evaluated. In field studies, ayahuasca users typically describe having emerged with new perspectives on past experiences and deeply rooted patterns of behavior. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, what what I said. He he sort of goes more in depth on uh, those uh, neural sort of pathways and 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 uh, you know what what's happening with with the uh, the connections and, and ha habits. But um, so I just wanted to show you another um, uh, study. It says uh, psychedelic mushrooms ease uh, OCD symptoms. So. Uh, let me just read it for you. A preliminary study uh, of the active ingredient in psychedelic mushrooms has found it is effective in relieving uh, the symptoms uh, of people suffering from severe obsessive compulsive disorder. A University of Arizona psychiatrist reports uh, Dr. Francisco A. Mor Moreno uh, led the first uh, FDA approved clinical study of uh, psilocybin since it was outlawed in 1970. Uh, the results of the small scale, sorry, uh, the results of the small scale study are published in the latest uh, edition of the Journal of uh, Clinical Psychiatry. Uh, Moreno said the study's intent was only to test the safety of administering psilocybin to patients, and its effectiveness is still in doubt. Under a large control study, uh, can be conducted. Uh, but in each of the nine pa uh, patients in the study, uh, psilocybin completely removed symptoms of the disorder for a period of, of about f uh, 4 to 24 hours, with some remaining symptom-free for days, uh, Moreno said. Uh, what we saw acutely was a drastic decrease in symptoms, Moreno said. Uh, the obsessions would really dissolve or reduce drastically for a period of time. Uh, the, best, the best known among the drug drug culture as uh, magic mushrooms, the hallucinogenic fungus remains a popular illicit drug. Although banned by Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of uh, 1970, a research into its medical use is allowed. Um, in the new research does not reflect any change in the government policy. Uh, 
says uh, Rogene Waite, the spokesman for the Drug Enforcement Agency. Um, no other treatment eases symptoms faster. Currently, there is no treatment that eases symptoms of this disorder as fast as psilocybin appears to. Uh, Moreno said, other drugs take several weeks to show uh, an effect, but psilocybin was almost immediately. The drug is uh, not one that could be taken daily, Moreno said, uh, and many questions remaining about its uh, use, including if it would be addictive or if patients would develop a tolerance to the drug. Moreno hopes to conduct uh, an expanding study that could offer more con um, convincing evidence of its effectiveness. Uh, we are very cautious about making too much of the early results, Moreno said. I don't want to characterize it as uh, psychedelics are the way to go, although it seems to be safe. Uh, this was done in the context of um, supervision by trained professionals in the medical syst uh, setting. Uh, this, is, this is not ready to be used by the public just because nine people tolerated it. Uh, symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder typically develop in the, in the teen years and can be difficult. Uh, make it difficult, uh, hard for patients to lead uh, normal day-to-day -day, day -day lives. Uh, nine patients in the study had a range of compulsions including fears of being contaminated, uh, elaborate cleaning rip rituals, tapping and touching rituals, and mental rituals. One patient didn't touch the floor with anything but the soles of his shoes, others would show for nine hours and put on uh, pants over and over until they felt right. They know it's senseless, they know it doesn't do anything for them, uh, but if they don't do it then they become very distraught and very uncomfortable and have to, uh, and have a very difficult time dealing or functioning. And that little last paragraph is what the psilocybin seems to dissolve is that sort of, uh, that gnawing sort of sensation that you need to do those things again. It's, um, when I did, did it, uh, I would get the most, um, uh, effects out of uh, taking a, a heavy dose in silent darkness. I would actually take the mushrooms and grind it into powder and then uh, uh, drink it with orange juice. So that's basically lemon teching it. But um, uh, when I did that, um, uh, I would I would go in uh, completely depressed because you know a a, a a worry sort of you know took over my mind and 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 completely like you know destroyed my my like I can feel it sort of taking out all the serotonin and, and, and all the the happiness chemicals in my brain and then and then when I when I blast with with psilocybin it, it feels like it just uh, regenerates all the all the happiness molecule and then and then after after the experience I feel like I've been reborn and like I, 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 I don't even care to, to, to worry about any of those those you know stupid things that were in my head like it just seems so nonsensical like I, I feel like I can just sort of step outside of it and look at it now and and you know that that ability sort of translated into my everyday life like I sort of learned how to do that so like I don't I don't need to sort of keep taking them to to you know I mean it would it would obviously help like I still get I still get worries that that you know sometimes I'll, I'll entertain and and and, and feed feed the compulsion but then I'll quickly you know realize it and then and then use my my you know what I've learned and, and my willpower to sort of you know not get sucked into it and uh, but if I were to take psilocybin it would completely just obliterate it no matter how strong it was no matter how how real it felt to me the the worry it would just completely destroy it so um, you know, it's 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 pretty it's a pretty radical therapy, but it, it does work. It does, and and like I had the worst, like I had crippling severe OCD, and that was you know I was diagnosed with that. I was I was diagnosed with like the the severe label. So, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't OCD light by any means, but uh, yeah, just you know if if that information kind of helps you guys, then you know do what you want with it. But yeah, 